Good day everyone, this is Ames Gazelle Anochika and today I'll be talking about what is conceptual biosecurity. So first of all, here is a brief introduction to biosecurity. What does biosecurity mean? Biosecurity literally means safety of living things. It is a program designed to prevent the exposure of birds to disease-causing organisms by reducing the introduction and spread of pathogens into and between the farms. The main methods of disease spread on or between poultry farms are through contaminated people, contaminated vehicles and equipment, wild birds, feral animals, domestic animals, insects and vermin, other poultry, feed and water, litter, and air. There are three types of biosecurity. These are conceptual, structural, and operational biosecurity. And now, let us get to the point. Conceptual biosecurity is the primary level of biosecurity. It revolves around the location of animal facilities and their various components. In this type of biosecurity, the most effective way to limit risk is physical isolation, making this a primary consideration when seating new confinement facilities or farms. It requires selecting a location for a broiler farm that will isolate the premises from modern domestic poultry, wild waterfowl, and livestock, which are potential reservoirs with infectious diseases. Broiler farms should be geographically separated from other poultry units because pathogenic bacteria and viruses may be carried by the wind or by various vectors and fomites to adjacent premises. Ideally, Facilities or farms should not be located in close proximity to other farms or public roads, especially when the area has a high density of animal facilities or next to slaughterhouses, live animal markets, agricultural fairs, or animal exhibits. Similar isolation methods include limiting the use of common vehicles and facilities, limiting access by personnel not directly involved with the operation, and controlling the spread of disease by vermin, wild animals, and wind. Ducks and geese are reservoir of avian influenza and new castle disease viruses, so broiler farms should not be located near lakes, ponds, or rivers. Avian flu can quickly progress to pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome, while in new castle disease, the mortality in unvaccinated birds can reach 100% and they may die without any clinical signs of disease. These two diseases are transmissible to humans. Ideally, farms should be situated away from other poultry farms including backyard farms, other farms with other species, live bird markets, hatcheries, and slaughterhouses. If these kinds of facilities are near to the farm, structural and operational biosecurity should be improved. And if possible, new farms should be constructed in biosecure locations. This picture shows an example of poultry farm that does not follow good conceptual biosecurity. As you can see, these different kinds of farms are situated close to each other. It is best to build a farm in an isolated area at least 3 kilometers away from nearest poultry in the case of breeder farm and 1.6 kilometers in the case of commercial layer and boiler farm. In the case of breeders, the farm should be away from the major roadways that may be used to transport commercial and backyard poultry, maintain enough distance between breeders and grow at farms, and facilities such as hatcheries and feed mills. There are other biosecurity measures, and these include restricting access to farm and flocks, limiting the number of people that come in contact with the birds, Limiting any possible contact with wild birds as they can carry disease. Keeping predators and rodents out. Having a proper rodent and pest control scheme in place. Monitor your chops daily. Keeping the feed and water clean. Cleaning and disinfecting thoroughly between batches of birds replacing all the bedding. Sanitation on vehicles, clothing and other equipment. Taking a shower and changing clothes when visitors come from another farm. Isolating new birds when bringing them in the existing flock, having foot baths, and wearing of personal protective equipment or PPEs for those who are exposed to the poultry farm. This ends my presentation. Thank you for listening and watching.